Alrighty guys, it's time I tell you. It's time I filled you in about how the top surgery consult went. So, we finally got there to North Carolina. So, I'm going to meet the doctor, Dr. Eric Emerson. It's in uh, Gastonia, North Carolina. We got there about an hour early, so we decided to like check out the area up and down the road. Um, since we're going to be staying in the local area there for um, the hotel to stay there the night before and the night after surgery. So we're driving up and down and uh, we find this cute little antique shop that we almost didn't stop at. And I snatched up this super cool um, bear thing for the wall. Once we were finished blowing time at the antique shop and it was time to head back for the, for the consult, um, me and Kayla just kind of took a second together, took a deep breath before we went in. Um, and it was a very fancy place. It was really, really nice. Like you can tell it was specifically for plastic surgery, like it was a big practice. There was actually two buildings on that street that were both uh, the Piedmont Plastic uh, Plastic Surgery Center. Inside it was gorgeous. We went through the paperwork together, turned the paperwork in, and once we got the paperwork in and they called us back, it was actually a pretty quick process. Um, we were sitting there just chilling in the, uh, in the room and, uh, two nurses came in and was asking me, you know, what kind of surgery are you interested in? Um, how long have you been thinking about this surgery? They took kind of like my height, weight, vitals kind of thing. Um, and then said the surgeon would be in, in a little bit. I'm so glad Kayla was there because she just helps like calm me down so much. So we were, we were able to kind of just like joke around and goof off. And then the doctor comes in and I meet Dr. Eric Emerson. He seemed like a very good guy. Um, he definitely knew what he was talking about. He seemed very positive, very, um, you know, just very sure of the surgery and that he's done many of these before. I saw a lot of his um, online surgery pictures like before and after. So I did a lot of my research, but he explained to me you need to be there the day before and the day after and the follow-up appointments and things. Um, and then he asked me if I had any questions um, and I asked him about drains and he said he doesn't use drains, which is a little bit of a concern for me because I don't want the fluid to build up, but I trust the guy. So then he gives me this like shirt thing to, to, to put on because I'm, I need to take off my shirt um, and he leaves the room. So I, I put him putting on this like cute little uh, crop top vest looking thing. Um, he was like, it's not the cutest thing in the world, but you know, this is, uh, this is what we got. So put this on for us. So I did. Um, and I was really nervous about the like feeling of my chest, like um, them like feeling on my chest and like having to push and like feel things because that's like the ulti ultimate dysphoric thing. Like you don't want people to touch them. I'm like, no, no, no. So Bo actually had told me in his top surgery consult that they were really feeling around his tissue. So I was prepared for just a lot of tissue feeling and like, this is worth it. They're gonna be gone. This is okay. But really he didn't do very much. I went up against the wall and he told me he was gonna take some pictures and I opened my chest and he was like, yes, definitely, this is this is good. I think it's gonna be a very straightforward surgery, blah, blah, blah. He left the room so I can put my shirt back on before that. I had done my research so I, I, I knew what to expect for a lot of it and I knew what questions I wanted to ask. Even though it was like three and a half hour drive, um, it was a gorgeous drive, me and Kayla had so much fun. And then after that was done, and we left and I was like so excited because I'm like one step closer and we're all excited together. And then we had a wonderful drive, road trip home. Um, we, we were stopped at this lookout and we were looking over all the mountains and this beautiful view on the way home. And just like being together and like sharing that moment. And um, oh yeah, I'm just super thankful that she was there with me and, and helping me with that because you know, that's a lot of emotional uh, vulnerability to be able to take your shirt off even if you are a cis person, let alone someone with dysphoria. So it was very quick I, and very painless. He only touched my chest. Uh, I think he did like something like this, like once or twice, and then he felt my nipple like very fast and it was done. And I was like, okay, I can work with that. Um, so yeah, so now the next step is waiting to hear back from my insurance. I sent them my paperwork. So now I'm just waiting to hear back with the final numbers, with uh, insurance numbers, with uh, Dr. Eric Emerson's fees and things and all the breakdowns so I can know financially what to expect. And we should be able to schedule my date for the fall. So I'm really excited. I'm going to be posting all of my updates, all of the things, the whole journey on here. I want to share with you guys. Just really excited. And I really appreciate your guys' excitement with me. Um, just like testosterone, you know, I started my channel day one, uh, you know, before I even started tea with my concerns and my thoughts. So we're going to do the same thing again, but with top surgery. So definitely follow. I appreciate you guys' support. I love every one of you. And I will see you guys in the next update.